this afternoon, everybody. It's great to see all of you showing up on a slightly clammy day. That uh, piece was written by uh, one of uh, America's rather well-known, uh, or sorry, well-played composers, I should say, but not necessarily uh, well-known. Alfred Reed uh, was uh, very prominent in the world of writing music, for high-quality music for uh, school orchestras primarily, although he had a big career writing music for various other um, uh, conditions and types of groups. He, uh, for a long time, uh, was on the faculty of the University of Miami down in uh, Florida, not our Miami, and uh, was prominent for starting up one of the first programs in music business in uh, undergraduate music education. So he uh, has a, a, a heritage on a variety of fronts. He liked to claim that he was uh, one of the most published composers in the world after J.S. Bach. So he uh, <laughs> held his compositions in very high regard. Uh, and at the time of his death in uh, 2005, he had commissions on the books that would have taken him to the age of 115 if he had lived to uh, complete them. So he was quite well thought of and uh, well commissioned. That's a piece he wrote in 1963. We're going to go back a few centuries to the uh, uh, Renaissance in the uh, 16th century and play a little suite of pieces, most of which um, originated uh, in other functions. The uh, first piece by Razio Vecchi was originally a madrigal. It also became the uh, music for some rather complex uh, couple dancing, some court couple dancing. The second movement is from a mass by Giovanni Gabrielli, and the last movement uh, started out as a chanson by the Parisian composer Clément Jonicat. So here's a little suite of Renaissance uh, music.
go to another uh, probably old tune. It's a little hard to say. It's an old folk tune that was uh, discovered by Gustav Holst in the uh, it County of Derry. County of Derry. My friend Hannah has let me know a little bit about this. Uh, and uh, there is a village of Renton um, from which this may have come. It's also, I gather, a rather popular uh, family name for uh, families in that area. It's a little uh, old folk tune from uh, Britain.
suite actually of some Israeli folk tunes. Uh, some of those in the middle movement are actually from the season of Hanukkah. The rest are uh, a variety of tunes uh, from different times of the year and uh, different derivations. So here's a suite of Israeli folk tunes.
you've all heard, it shows up, I think, on every holiday program every season. This is in a little jazzed up arrangement by the uh, group. It's actually mostly a recording group, Mannheim Steamroller, which started in the uh, mid-1970s by a guy named uh, Chip Davis, who was a native of uh, Toledo, a little further north, uh, and actually did most of his music work in Oklahoma and further in the, uh, in the Midwest and West as he was developing his material. It was sort of a fusion of some jazz and rock things and some classical things that sort of brought in a lot of influences and a lot of different kinds of music his, his arrangements and his concept for albums together. This uh, arrangement uh, showed up, I believe, on one of his first uh, holiday albums. So here's Carol of the Bells in a Mannheim Steamroller arrangement.
Well, here's a little play on words kind of piece, also written in 1963, like our first piece. Uh, this is a uh, piece in a certain form, the rondo part of the title indicates that the music you hear at the very beginning will come back several times, sort of in identical fashion throughout the piece, so that's sort of the return idea. It's also a play on words by a very well-known uh, exercise. If you've ever studied a little ballet, you will have done your rondo jambes at the bar where you rotate your leg back and around and back and around again. So this idea of return and sort of ballet tradition is also written in here. There's also a little bit of um, uh, bossa nova uh, rhythm, which we'll hear in our excellent percussion section. So all together, it's a little bit of a mixture of, uh, of different kinds of styles, different kinds of formal procedures. So rondo de Jean.
pieces, very popular pieces that have uh, been continually in the charts, but uh, started out rather uh, small scale in the 1940s. The first uh, was composed in 1944 by a man named Don Gardner, who well, I'm sure you have all the tip of your tongues, as I did, uh, who at the time was a public school music teacher in the town of Smithville, New York, which is on Long Island, teaching <coughs> uh, elementary uh, school, and he apparently asked his music class what they wanted for Christmas, and as they were smiling through their empty teeth and things, they decided that they could really use uh, grown-in adult teeth, so he wrote this little tune. And within five years, it had uh, reached the top of the charts and it had remained fairly popular in uh, holiday Christmas lore. It's been uh, recorded by such acts as the Andrews Sisters and Alvin and the Chipmunks and all sorts of other famous people. So here's a little rendition of All I Want for Christmas is My Two Front Teeth. Thank you. 